Hello. Welcome to Sunday School. This is the third Sunday of Advent. It's the time when we talk about the candle that relates to joy. Of all the candles described during the Advent season so far, I've been thinking that joy would probably be the easiest for us to talk about. Or is it? Let's look at some definitions. This is Bernard Shaw's definition of joy. That the true joy in life is a person that is used for a purpose in a mighty way. Or someone who has worked so hard that they're worn out before they're thrown on a scrap heap. Or that they are a force so powerful like nature instead of a selfish little clod of ailments and grievances complaining that the world was not good enough and making them happy. Wow. It would take me a week to decipher what all of this meant. It's awesome, but deep. So I decided, let's look at a different definition. So I went to the dictionary. So, the Webster Merriam Dictionary talks about joy as an emotion, evoked by well-being, success, having good fortune, or the idea that something is going to happen that one desires. Absolute delight. John Keats looks at joy as a thing of beauty. And, of course, many people would think of joy to the world vote. Christmas carol that we sing as something that brings them joy. So an emotion, something that is beautiful to look at, or something beautiful to listen to. Is that joy? So then I decided, let's go to some more simple definitions and see if we can discover joy. What about joy including a sense of happiness? Like finding a waterfall, or watching your mom blow bubbles, big bubbles, colorful bubbles. How about just being able to be spontaneous? You see that puddle and you just jump right in. Is that a definition of joy? Or not having a care or concern in the world. Just being in the moment. What about excitement of getting what you always wanted? Or achieving a long-term goal? Is that the true definition of joy? Having a very special moment in time that can certainly be considered a part of joy. Or finding what was lost. How amazing it would be to find an important key that you had lost but was able to find. Let's look at some other ways that people probably found joy. What do you think it was like for those people watching the Red Sea part and enable them to walk through it to escape their bondage in Egypt? Or collecting food that fell from the sky every day from God so that people could make their way through the desert. Or the parable that Jesus told about the poor woman who found her lost coin. She searched and she searched and she swept and swept her floor until she found her precious coin. To you and I, it was probably not a lot of money. But to her, it was an amazing amount of money. And the parable relates to the fact that those who are lost, who don't know God, find true joy when they do find God and his love for them. 
what about when David defeated the Philistine giant named Goliath? I can imagine there were tons of people on the side of David that were jumping up and down and cheering for his success. Is that joy that we're talking about with the Advent candle? When the wise men from the east find Jesus after following the star, must have been an amazing feeling. Or 5,000 people knowing that they had been fed from one boy's lunch? Or how about when those same people were sitting on the mountainside and Jesus was telling them about the fact that they have hope? and that he cares for them, even if no one else does. Was there joy for the Jewish person who had been robbed and beaten on the road, and the Samaritan, an enemy of the Jewish people at that time, stopped, took care of them, and even paid to have him heal in a better place uh, so that he could return to full function? Did that Jewish person find joy? Or what about the people around him and Lazarus' sisters when Jesus raised him from the dead? What about the entire life story of Jesus, his miracle birth, his teaching of the disciples, the miracle that he himself performed and told the disciples that they too could perform miracles in his name, and the amazing parables that he described to help people understand what the kingdom of God is like and his death on the cross assuring us that he had overcome all of the bad stuff in the world and that we now have eternal life. Is that joy? There's a difference between joy and what we feel as happiness. Happiness is a response to a situation or an event that is pleasant for us. Joy can be chosen even when we are not in a pleasant situation. As Christians, we have the joy of the Advent candle because we have a relationship with God and God is with us even when we are unhappy or in very difficult situations and we can use the joy from God to make a difference for others no matter how great or small that difference is. By focusing on the joy of the Advent candle this Advent season. When Christmas comes on December 25th, you might just find a surprise package worth going after. I hope this coming week is full of happiness for you, but more importantly, I hope it is full of joy. Take care.